All right, what's going on YouTube? So, uh, haven't done a video for a while, well, for a little while, and then um, I haven't done a video for a while specifically for uh, <clears throat> what I call Missed Teachings of the Church. And so this is, I think, part six, and this series is basically things I feel like every single church I have ever gone to has gotten wrong. And so uh, this one would be that salvation is easy. Because you hear that preached at basically every church. I mean, some say all you got to do is utter the words of the sinner's prayer. And then some say all you have to do is believe that Jesus died and rose again on the third day. And, you know, they'll, they'll, some people put a little couple of caveats on there to make it a little more, like a little more, um, you know, solid. Or I don't know what the right word would be. But... I will tell you that salvation is not easy, okay? Now, again, I'm not telling you workspace salvation. I'm not telling you it's hard because you have to do a thousand things before God receives you. You only got to do one thing. All you got to do is offer yourself a living sacrifice. All you got to do is go all in. So on the one hand, okay, theoretically, okay, that's easy. That sounds easy, but think about what you're doing. I mean, you're giving up yourself you're giving up your old life you're giving up in a lot of ways i mean you're giving up your free will i mean you are you are opting into something that is incredibly serious you know um <laughs> i'm not one to quote kenneth copeland a whole lot even though you know i've said in other videos there are certain topics i think he knows a lot about like he is a he is a valuable resource uh you know on a lot of different topics like healing and angels and stuff like that but there's also a lot of stuff where i'm like uh, i don't know about that one but nonetheless i feel like he said it better than anybody he said that when jesus died on the cross and, and pave the way for you to opt into this, to receive forgiveness and to be born again and all of this, that, you know, Jesus um, paved the way for a new species of being that had, not, that had not previously existed. Now, that's a slight paraphrase, but new species <clears throat> was exactly the phrase that he used. So he's saying, in effect, like you're opting in to becoming something different. Like you're not just opting into a changed mind or a better attitude or uh, not, now you're going to make it a point to be a nicer guy or a more honorable guy or you're going to memorize scripture. Like you're literally opting in to a whole new paradigm of reality. You're opting into new expectations, new experiences. I mean, I will tell you, you know, for example, I'm going to make a video um, about, uh, well, I'll put that on the side, but let's just say for this video that, you know, my, my friend Gordon in England, we had talked about, you know, this type of stuff at a, at a prior point. And he said to me, when he went all in, when he accepted Christ as his savior, he meant it, you know, completely, sincerely, he, he received the Holy Spirit. He, he did this. He, he offered himself a living sacrifice as the body, as the Bible says, he said he got he felt that he got made into something completely else. And so, you know, I can't I'm going to be paraphrasing the actual animals that he used, but what he said in effect was he didn't feel like he got converted from a bad dog into a good dog. He said he felt like he got converted from a bad dog into a good elephant. Like he got made into some completely other thing. And so, again, you know, this is a very, to be born again, to be a new creation, to be saved, to be redeemed, to be, um, you know, sealed unto the day of redemption. It's a big, 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 big deal. You're opting into something huge, okay? Just to give you like a metaphor that popped into my head, on the one hand, it's easy to join the army, right? I've never been in the military, but I'm just saying on the one hand, it's easy to join the army. You think about it, you talk to a recruiter, you say, okay, I want, I want to do it. You know, I made the decision. I want to be in the whatever, the, the Marines or the Navy or the Army or the Air Force or whatever. Well, Air Force is a lot harder to get into. But the point is, you pretty much, you make that decision. 
you don't have a criminal background, you don't have any overt health problems, you just signed the papers and you did it. It's easy, right? But now you're in the military. You joined, you signed up, and now you've just entered into a completely different life. And, you know, interestingly enough, you've given up a lot of control. In a lot of ways, you've given up a lot of your free will. In a lot of ways, you've offered yourself a living sacrifice to this entity. I mean, they might literally put you in a position to be killed, right? So on the one hand, to join the military is very easy. And on the other hand, I mean, it's incredibly difficult, right? And so it is like that with the kingdom of God. On the one hand, it's just a decision. But on the other hand, I mean, in order for you to truly make that decision, to make that decision in a way that God will respect, to make that decision in a way that gets you actually redeemed, sealed, new creation, etc. I mean, you're going to have to give, give your whole self up to him. Now, once you do that, I mean, you've got time to work out the kinks and you've, you know, there'll be chastisement and correction and all that different type of stuff. But, you know, like I've said in other videos, if you surrender, if you go all in, I mean, you're, you're a new creation on day one. You're, you're into this new paradigm, this new reality on day one. You're already there. Expectations already go up. Temptation already changes, sin already changes, everything changes as soon as you go all in. So, you know, like I've said again in other videos, there's a lot of Christians out there. There's a lot of people, there's a lot of people who are wolves in sheep's clothing. There's a lot of people who are not overtly wolves in sheep's clothing. They're well intentioned. They, they believe the Bible's true. They believe God's real. You know, they believe Jesus died for their sins. But there's very few people who have surrendered. There's very few people who have gone all in. I hear this all the time. I'll start talking this type of talk with Christians who seem like pretty strong Christians or fairly strong Christians. And you start to push them. And then they'll go, well, I do kind of have one foot in the world. Well, I, I do good for a while, but then I'll end up going on these big backsliding tangents. And so when you peel back these layers you'll find that most people seem to have a sense that there's something they're not doing right, that, that they don't know what it would be because they've done all the stuff their pastor has told them to do, but they still feel like something's missing. They still know something's not quite right. They still know they've got this one foot or this one toe or this one whatever that's still in the world. And they don't know, like, they don't know what to do. They don't know how to, how to finish the job. And the answer is you just got to suck it up and do it pretty much. You just got to surrender. You just got to go all in. You just got to offer yourself a living sacrifice. So salvation is theoretically easy. It's just a decision. But in actuality, if you're going to do it for real, if it's going to be received by God for real, if you are going to receive the internal indwelling spirit, a Holy Spirit forever for real, if you're going to be made a new creation for real, then gulp is uh, <laughs> it's not the easiest thing you could do, that's for sure. So uh, that's it. If you're not surrendered, Time to surrender. It's time to go all in. Quit messing around. Quit keeping that one foot in the world. You're you're either you're either going to surrender at some point or you're going to die in a lukewarm state and you're going to go to hell or you're just going to fall away completely. Those are the only three options. Remain lukewarm, die and go to hell, fall away completely, die and go to hell, or surrender and go to heaven. So my advice to you would be to surrender. So that's it. Hope this is helpful. You know, I know I make some heavy videos and I make them because I don't see anybody else really making them. I mean, I'm, I work in fine art sales. I mean, I'm a happy guy. I like talking to people. I sell pretty stuff. I mean, you know, I, I wasn't, wasn't exactly wanting to be the guy who's doing these types of videos and saying these types of things. But hey, this is the path God put me on. I mean, he put me on a path that gave me this type of revelation. And B, I'm looking, where are the other people making these videos? I can't find them. So it's like, well, I guess I'm the guy that's going to do them. I'm going to make them. So I don't say all this to, to be a downer, to be depressing, to be anything other than the guy who, who knows. I know that I know. I know 
that you're not going to heaven until you surrender. And I further know that very few Christians have surrendered. And so I'm just here telling the, the lukewarm body of Christians out there that if you want to go to heaven, not even just if you want to be pleasing to God, not even if you, if you want to be fully sanctified, I'm telling you, if you want to go to heaven, you got to surrender. You got to go all in. So that's it. Love you guys. Thanks for watching. Aloha. God bless.